Crustaceans, called crackles, are often found in the wrecks near Windhill Shores. Crackles are as ferocious as they look and have a pungent smell. It's said that a hunter once won the wolf hunting contest by secretly using crackle meat as bait. This vast plain was once a cherished village landmark, before the packs of giant wolves appeared. Now, even seasoned hunters avoid it. Those who trespass into the realm of savage beasts must prepare to face death.
star, child. Are you seeking a path? After all the twists and turns, you finally gave Soiri the wolf hunting keepsakes you've gathered. She was overjoyed, expressing her gratitude over and over again. So Eerie hoped that people would continue to remember Henry for years to come, and told you the location of the abbey where he's buried. Please help me out! I couldn't have fought them off. The howl of the Alpha Wolf resurrects the dead wolves! Thank you. I couldn't have fought them off without you. Iskale, ah, you must leave. I have to look out. There are young just rest. Really? There was no one inside. Happy! Hey! I hear children! Oh no! There are wolves here too! I was so scared. Did you come here to get because of his kale? So many people. I couldn't say the wolf. It won't be easy. Oh, would you mind? I won't. What if there are wolves hiding in the forest? I'm scared. <laughs> If we follow Henry and his friend, everything should turn out all right. I hear someone in the house. This way. Uh, the door is locked. It's okay, the wolves are gone. Please open the door. I think it's broken. What do we do now? Oh, no, no! Happy Wolves are gathering! The more lessons! That's another Damn. powerful wolf! Henry! No! Henry! You saved me! I don't know how I can repay you! Let's take a break. Are you hurt? Oh, the children must be startled. Could we catch our breath for a moment? Let's hit the road again. No more breaks until we get to the village. You can do it, right? Um, uh, right. We should go slowly so the children can keep up. Um, I must speak with you. The village is straight ahead. Can you bring them to the village for me? I have late in my... Now I understand. We must protect the children. I'll take this side.
We are out of time. I ask you. Uh... It's Iskale. The wolves have been resurrected. Please protect the children until the end. You beasts! Over here! My daughter, I thought I'd never... Uh, Henry's... but a sword, and it will obey the will of the one. <laughs> now, wake up from the nightmare and choose your own path. This little one is ready too. May you have a glorious journey. While you were standing over Henry's grave, the spirit of the divine beast Hamel appeared. As he used his mysterious power, a vision of the abbey where Henry and Iskel fought unfolded before your eyes. What was Hamel trying to tell you? If you are able to control the dangerous astral force, where will your path lead? The sacred deer of the Black Howl Plains met his demise, and his death heralded Iskale's return. Those who fled from the wolves found themselves isolated in the abbey. Iskale, with the power of the star fragment and backed by a pack of ravenous wolves, set upon them. While the people cowered in terror, Henry rose to the occasion. He had always admired Hamel's courage, and he took heart from it now, urging the others to escape. As Henry desperately battled against the wolves, Iskale rushed towards him. Henry knew of Iskale's weak point. Hamel had come to him in a dream, showing him what he needed to know, and so Henry hurled his torch at the bottles of lamp oil in the storeroom. The oil ignited instantly, and with each fiery explosion, the very ground beneath their feet trembled. Henry was caught in the flames, along with Iskail. All that remained when the others returned to the abbey were the bones and ashes of Henry and the wolves. Now the people of Castleton hold a wolf hunting contest every year to honor the courage and sacrifice of the young hero.
There is a way. You'll need to I enhance your... Following Thomas's advice, you visited the skills researcher, Adrian. Adrian taught you how to craft and use skill growth books. Armed with this new knowledge, you now have the potential to become even stronger. Standing atop the coastal cliffs of Castleton, Helpy spent a long while gazing silently toward Wisp Island. Finally it spoke. It said farewell until the day we meet again, and wished you well on the path ahead. You ruefully parted from the little friend who had been by your side from the beginning, continuing your journey alone. Darkness may fill the world today.
What is it? This is a dangerous place and best avoided. Well, some people call me that. Possessing a black heart? Those goblins colluded with Archeum. Where did you get this document? I see. The last part is torn from this parchment. It means the order is about to be executed. But we don't know the details. How troublesome. And goblins always perform a special ritual before a major operation, sharing the details to their members. We might be able to find out what this is all about from the ritual. A goblin agitator is leading the ritual. We'll need to figure out the meaning of the final sentence. Will you do that? Thank you. Come meet me here when you find the last piece. Oh. And watch out for the giant goblin butcher. Henson's expression hardened after reading the goblins. No one can predict the order of blessings that will fall on the seven monument stones. Anyway, it seems the goblin god is a trickster. I will monitor the... Now listen up! The ritual is starting! This is our time! A celebration of goblins! By goblins! For goblins! Now, let's begin! <laughs> Me first! Now it's my turn! What's the matter? There. What? An attack? Everyone already left under Captain Ruffalo's order. Oh no. I'm fine. They're swarming. Damn! It's a surprise attack! There are more numbers than I thought. Adventurer, we'll block the entrance. It's dark, but please activate the magic trap set on the road.
device detonator! Was it a success? Looks like we got rid of them all. They won't come back. Right? Huh? What's that? Coming back? Again? What to do? We've used all the magic traps. There's one thing we're testing at the top of the hill. I I'm not sure. It's still incomplete. There's no other choice. Adventurer! The magic trap is at the end of the Starlight Observatory ruins. It's dark, but you can see it well. We'll take care of the goblins in the meantime. It was a bit risky this time. We'd have been in quite a pickle if it hadn't been for you, Adventurer. Thank you, Adventurer. Not yet. What are you doing? Kill them! This is ours from this day forward! What's that huge monster? Stop them! Everyone descend! We have to block the entrance somehow! <laughs>
There may be important orders among the chief's belongings. Look closely. Where did you find this? It's my armband from back in the day. Thanks for finding it. Do you mind bringing this to Ruffalo? About time this armband gets itself a new owner. He'll get more use out of it than me. Come to think of it, I don't think we've had a chance for introductions. Where are you from? Wisp Island. Do you happen to know anyone named Jan Junath? Ah, oh, I see. Jan is my friend who used to travel around Silesium with me. If it weren't for that insidious Calanthia. That was such a long time ago. I'll see you later.
Ten years ago, craftsmen in the employ of the Archim Legion secretly visited the resistance soldiers at the observatory, offering a huge reward for aid in stealing gems from the goblins. The soldiers, who were suffering through a famine, were overwhelmed with temptation. All but three of them left the camp. While the guards were away, the waiting Archeum battle platoon readied for the attack. Watch Captain Henson understood the situation all too well. He told the three remaining guards to flee, and one of them, Ruffalo, escaped into the woods with his head hung low. Battling against an endless sea of enemies, the two remaining guards died horrible deaths. Henson, who lost an eye, rose again each time he fell, sword held high. Just as Henson, gravely wounded, neared his own death, Ruffalo returned. He had not fled at all, but instead brought reinforcements who drove back the enemy forces. Although the bravery of Henson and his men saved many lives, he blamed himself for the death of the soldiers and resigned as watch captain. Ten years later, he still quietly defends the front lines and is admired and respected by the local resistance forces. Gestahl and Cicero, Henson's former comrades, performed their duty until the very end. Their honor and perseverance earned them a place deep within the Resistance's hearts. The once green forest lost its vitality and withered to a darkish red, becoming what it is today. They say that the blood spiders, now the masters of Carmine Forest, will capture any humans who set foot there for use as sacrifices. Whoever I spoke to arrives soon. Oh, goodness. I'm currently investigating a disappearance in Vienta Village. But I'm running out of time and urgently need the help of a magic wielder. So, I left Luna 17 behind and set it to communicate with me when it detects someone nearby who can wield magic. Right beside Laslan is a dominion called Stoneguard. The biggest town there is called Vienta. Recently, the problem is that even after a day of searching, 
a monster known as Morakai. I've hidden mud. Could you please? I hid dig them.